again! Welcome to me, myself and I just playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's time for another daily run and it's a Judas run. And we've started on the cellar, which is a bit scary. Oh, don't get hit. We've already spoke... Mm. Would you take it? I think it could be good. We'll try it. Um, we've already spoken about how Judas is very weak. When we start a Judas game, However, Judas can become very strong. It does start with the Book of Belial, which is a tremendous benefit. Uh, I'm thinking we can possibly get into the Curse Room if that's a secret room next to it, but we're going to need a bomb first. Careful, don't get hit by the fires. That will be your undoing. Excellent. Let's just press this. Okay, good. You have to realise with these particular rooms, uh, that the danger basically goes away completely. Once you push the button. So I was just doing a, a Judas run. We're going to, it looks like, uh, the chest, by the way. Uh, and I was trying to do the hush, and I had loads of HP, and I had marked, and uh, there's an item called Dead Eye, which increases your damage the more times you actually successfully hit with your tears in a row. So you're rewarded for accuracy, which is basically what the item description says. There's a bomb for us. Might be able to get into the secret room, but... I'm wondering whether dead, uh, whether marked was a great idea for us. Um, but against the hush, marked plus dead eye is great, because the hush doesn't move very much. So you just put the cross on, dead, on, on hush, and you can't really miss. Unfortunately, that causes it to take a very, very long time to actually do because of the way the hush works. Uh, try not to shoot your own bomb here, as a result of marked. There's two more bombs, so we can actually get into the cursed room. And there's uh, mini mush, which is speed and range, which doesn't give us any HP, but that's okay. Cursed eye is a no. By no means will we be taking cursed eye. And we could go into the shop here, it may be worthwhile. But we'll just find the boss. It's Ragman. Um, I'm, I'm mildly worried here because we have taken some not the best damage, but damage nonetheless. So we can't get hit. It's going to be a problem because it's difficult not to get hit. And I've managed it, so we're okay. And there's the HP that takes Judas out of the frying pan. It's going to get a little bit irritating, if I'm honest with you, the fact that we're going to be constantly firing all the time. There is nothing I can do to stop this. Uh, we are just going to be firing constantly. Um, marked. Uh, I think it's an item that I want to practice with. And therefore I will take it. This is good though. Uh, were it not for the fact that it's a new item and novel and interesting and etc. And here's Death's Touch to take all my fears away. I probably wouldn't have taken it. Once I've got an idea of how I really feel about it, if that makes sense. Um, where can I put a bomb? I think here is probably our best bet. Once I've got a good idea about how I actually feel about marks, whether I feel that it could make a good run, I will have a more informed decision to make about it. As it stands, I need to take it so that I can make an informed decision about it in the future. So this is our learning process. Which is, you know, it's going to be the case for a while. Afterbirth is still fairly new. I've only done so many dailies, and that's almost the entirety of Afterbirth that I've played. Certainly not enough to... Um, Certainly not enough to have a good understanding of how all the items work and how they work with each other. Now, I did just ruin my amazing chances of not dying in order to take um, uh, uh, Rotten Baby here, because Rotten Baby is an excellent item. And I'm hoping it will last with us as we continue to not die for some time. No keys. This is going to be a problem, at least at this stage. So I wonder whether just I can... <laughs> Orbit. 
the cross in the middle and get the best out of the thing that way just by standing on the opposite side of the room to the enemy that I want to hit, which may not be about to work too well now. It was fine in theory, I think. This could be a problem. Pop up, pop up. That was a problem. Yep. <laughs> there is a red heart. We should probably go back for it. And a bomb. So we are looking for keys. We're going to need to be a lot more powerful to make up for the fact that we're shooting constantly. Um, I, just, I think that's fairly obvious. Reasonably obvious, anyway. Um, we're not as much in control of our tears as we would normally expect to be. Now, we do have Rotten Baby producing the occasional fly, which are autonomous, which will certainly help. And as long as we can be accurate with marked itself we can be reasonably assured that we're going to be accurate with our tears because that's you know, that's where the accuracy trades off trade off accuracy with ooh this is decent I wonder how it works with marked it shoots when I move the thing so that's not actually all that great oh god okay oh we're looking here that's how it could be good. We probably want the spirit heart for now. Um, yeah, if you can be more accurate with marked, then you don't need to worry about the accuracy with your tears. Whether it transpires that being accurate with marked is easier or, you know, somehow more, more viable than being accurate with your tears remains to be seen. But you can see, of course, it means that we can shoot at an angle. The dynamic has changed. We're now shooting yeah, towards a target. Which does involve the constant update of said target. We do have a, a couple of keys now, so we can trek back to our item room and see what underwhelming marvels lie within. Hopefully, uh, a few more scents because I would like to pick up the nun's habit there, but I thought the survivability offered by um, by the, just picking up the spirit heart early. Well, I'd like to not die as a result of having picked up go, uh, Ghost Baby, the Rotten Baby there. Looks like we've explored Echo. Pyromaniac is tremendously good, however. Especially for me, who is bad at the game. Uh, we will try to find, therefore, our super secret room. Just possibly over there by the boss. Uh, I don't want to be in here. I want to be. This way. Ah, oh, come on. Pay attention. We're going a bit slowly. Recall that on a daily we do want to be considering. Oh, it's not going to be there. Maybe it'll be here. I don't think so because second secret rooms or super secret rooms only contain one door, which means they can't be attached to. Two, um, two rooms. There's some HP, which really helps. Not going to really sweat the second secret room there. We'll just leave. I didn't even use Book of Belial just now. I didn't even think of it. <laughs> I feel that that enemy is definitely somewhat countered by having marked. Because it doesn't move very much. So the, the value of... Oh, I just caught that. Did you see? It's like I was fielding for goal. Anyway, um, the value of marked uh, help on slow moving enemies should be reasonably apparent. Uh, it's obviously the, the value of it when you have to deal with mobile enemies. Of course, Death's Touch is really countering any issues you may have in that regard because Death's Touch is piercing shots. Uh, I probably don't want to do the curse room yet. Death's touch being piercing shots means that we don't have to actually necessarily hit our enemy with too great accuracy. And mobile enemies, we can hit several of them. We just flood the... the oh, maybe we do want to keep this. We flood the field with tears, as it were. Uh, and as a result, don't have to be too accurate. Which is the death's touch way. Okay. So if we can just not take red heart damage, that would be great. We're unlikely to die. We 
because if we do take so much damage that we look like we're going to die, we just blow ourselves up, which is what Pyromaniac does for us. We're going to go in here. It wasn't brilliant. We got a key back though, which makes me feel less upset about the investment that I made to get into. We're getting a lot of drops actually. Judas doesn't have a strong luck stat to begin with, he's just a reasonably average character in that regard. Oh, 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 everyone, got them all, nice. Do we want, we did find the shop, we decided not to go in it, however, we have picked up several more coins since then. Well, maybe we'll save them for the next floor so we can get a press on. Uh, we're on caves two, so we've got, what, two more floors to do in the next few minutes, we will take the HP. And we will fight Krampus apparently. We'll use this here because I'm bad with Krampus as you all know. And he's gonna do that. And I'm gonna be scared. Actually that, um, Mark's made it a lot easier. I, I strongly suspect that the ability to shoot at an angle that Mark gives you is gonna have a great effect on how I fight many enemies, not just Krampus there. Uh, screw it, let's leave. Ten minutes, two floors left. I think we can make boss rush for sure. That clock was way far behind, so we can probably slow down a little bit. Try and explore somewhat. Um, get get some consumables under our belt. Curse of the Lost, however, can slow us down considerably, so I may have actually made the right decision entirely by accident. Where's my cross? There it is. We're not necessarily looking to do boss rush, but I... Honestly, I find the hush fight is not... It's a challenge for sure, but it's not hugely entertaining. Either for me or possibly for the viewers. At home. Yeah, just walk into that. Good job. <laughs> I did get a little bit uh, brain confused there. So I'm probably going to do boss rush just because it's more entertaining. It's more interesting. Since it's been randomised, you know, you don't know what you're getting. a reasonably easy room. Let's try not to step on the spikes while navigating to our free key. Well, it wasn't free, we had paid for it and with the tremendous skill that we had to put in. Maybe a secret room here? Nope. Oh, I mostly wanted this. Oh, another luck upgrade. The lucky pennies have been coming thick and fast. I'm fan of this. Many rooms have enemies just right up in the middle and you, you knock on the door. Hello. All but the room once. Saw it. This room, however, does not seem to fall into that paradigm. Still, all but the room once. Stars. Hmm. We could scum up Boss Rush and then do Hush. Because if you're going to do Hush, you have to do Hush. You know, Boss Rush, you can just leave and go down to the next floor. Have we found our item room yet? No. Have we been doing this logically? No. This is the way back to the entrance. Been in here? We should do this. I think this is worthwhile. I will take Dead Cat, even though it's probably a terrible idea. Because it reduces us to a single HP, which is not necessarily ideal. I'm going to go as far as say the uh, the angling of the shots that you get when you use marked is very valuable indeed. Uh, we don't want to do this. It's tempting. If I could fly, I would definitely open both of them, but I want to find the item room. I want to open the item room and I want to get the item. We've been that way, it was a dead end. We'll go this way. We've been this way. We'll go this way. We've been this way. In that case, there must have been something up here that I didn't see. Up here, yes. Ah, we haven't been this way, and this is almost certainly a secret room. And we'll blow this thing up. Ah, we have a piercing shot, so we can't accidentally shoot our own bombs out of the way, which is... Babu! Oh, brilliant. A bomb and some enemies. Enemies that don't even pay out. Yeah, brilliant. Awesome! Nice room. Glad I came. I love what you've done with the place. Enemies like that, ones that teleport, are particularly difficult. This is going to be another case where it's 
non-ideal to have her marked right now. Because we have to keep moving. That works out okay, because I held my breath. What do you think this will do? Let's find out. Uh, we've basically eradicated marked. Well, now we know. <laughs> um, it wasn't really what I was after, but I think Monstro's Lung is probably better. Don't know about you. Um, but I was getting pissed off <laughs> with all that fucking noise. Shop has wooden nickel. Spirit heart will keep us alive. We're going to do a lot of damage. We can't deny that much. But uh, I can't see myself because my fucking familiars are on top of me. That didn't last long at all. I think he gives a spirit heart and makes us tiny. I wonder whether it does anything else. Don't know. Our uh, charge time is actually pretty quick, which is beneficial with Monstro's Lung. There have been runs where you take Monstro's Lung on the first item room, like straight away, and until you get a tiers upgrade, you're just shit out of luck. Ah, good. Is that our second or third? Uh, just second, it looks like. So one guppy item to become guppy. I hope everybody made the same decision I did. For two reasons. One, then I feel like I made the right decision too. But two, uh, the decision, of course, being to go into that curse room in the first place. Secondly, of course, the guppy transformation is on the cards. Yep, yep, yep. So this is a decent amount of damage, look. You're not struggling for for hurting these things. I am keeping an eye out for Tinted Rocks as we get these bombs through. It's bomb delivery. Uh... Oh, we're okay. There's a thingy. Uh, because... Oh, really? <laughs> the... You... Mm, I'm gonna take it. Ooh. Yes, it cost me my spirit heart. I would have probably spent a life on that. And here's another one back. Tremendous. So we didn't get any worse and... We have the mind now, so we can go exactly where we want to go as quickly as we like. It looks like we could have got into the curse room for free, so if you didn't make that decision right off the bat, you may actually be better off right now. <coughs> Excuse me, what? We'll pick up all the consumables, it's valuable in terms of points. I think this is a very strong run, I think everybody else is going to find it a very strong run. As a result, run away. Uh, it's all going to come down to how much damage I've taken and how much... Spider Revenge, that's not what I thought it was. And how much... Uh, where did my keys go? How much damage I've taken. What did I say? It's all going to come down to how much damage I've taken and how many items I've picked up is what I was trying to say. Um, oh, fuck you. I got hit. Because I was trying to charge my freaking shot. I don't really want that. I don't. I can't open that. Let's go to the boss. If on the way we can find a key, then we may come back. Um, but don't forget we've got this stars card to get out of boss rush. So I don't really know why I spent the key on the item room now, because I could have gone to it afterwards and it was shit anyway. Okay, that's the opposite of key. That in fact costs two keys. But yeah, thanks. Yeah, the um, I confused Spider Baby with Sissy Long Legs. Sissy Long Legs runs around the room, dropping spiders sort of at random, basically. Uh, spider Baby only does spiders when you get hit. Uh, is that the choice? Then I will take. I think Smart Fly in this situation. Let me do the stars. The stars, indeed. So we'll we'll check out our secret room. I probably should have done it on the way past, but whatever. It's going to turn out to have a key. Then we'll spend even more time faffing around. We're very fast, actually. I know I skipped several rooms, which is probably going to cost me points. Uh, and, of course, points mean prizes. As we all know. Nope, it has money in it, which is 
<laughs> even more annoying because we don't have a use for money, we want the keys that we spend on money. Uh, I guess I'm doing hush then. We have to do something, or we just won't get the points for it. Uh, we might as well just go straight to the boss, I think. Although it would be nice if on the way I could find Tinted Rocks to ensure our survivability. On the hush fight, we do have nine lives. Unfortunately, it's not a case of how many lives you've got. It's a case of how far you can get on one of them. Can we get that? We can get that. So this is going to be a reasonably quick um, wound because we have the mind, and that is very useful. I didn't see any tinted drops in the way. We'll just do this. Here's Mr. Fred. Probably would have known it was Mr. Fred just by looking at the uh, shape of the room over there. Uh, Creep be gone. Mr. Fred will not last long with this amount of damage that we're doing. We just need to get rid of his minion. Excellent. And it is decent enough to take. And it gives us HP back. And I think the range is valuable, actually. The range upgrade is definitely worthwhile with Monstro's Lung, because you have low range with Monstro's Lung. I think I probably could have uh, stood to go to the secret room on that floor too. You know, I, I, I couldn't say that it was hugely valuable one way or the other. One way or the other. The money helps for points purposes. Uh, if I had a charged shot, then I could actually shoot him. There we go. Now, Greed is not a hugely tanky boss, but we have had trouble with Greed in the past. With me being not so great at the game. This is a good choice of direction to go because there's nothing in this room. Do we need that key? Yes. That's another problem, of course. We've got so few keys. We're not going to be able to get much out of the hush lobby, which I hadn't considered until just now. So maybe boss rush would have been the right thing to do in this situation. What hit that one? Magic, I guess. Health up. Fine. I have no problem with that. At some point, the announcer might tell us that we took a health upgrade. How did I get through there? Did you see that? You can fit through that gap when you're tiny. That's pretty nice. How adorbs. Totes adorbs. Go. Good. Now, smart fly here is not just uh, an orbital. It's a revenge fly, so it will fly around the room if you get hit. But uh, until you get hit, it is actually an offensive orbital already. So we can do damage with it. And guppy. Mom's heart. Well, it lives. Okay. No. Run away. We should choose this. <laughs> Although that may not have been a great idea, but there is a battery on this floor. Um, we probably want to use the Book of Belial on the hush fight. That should be reasonably uh, apparent. There's no deal with the devil here, which is saddening. Uh, did we get a plus enter early on? That must have been the first HP upgrade that we got, I suppose. Right, I'm going to go into here first, and I will take Infestation 2 absolutely mm, with no quibbles. There is a Tinted Rock here. There is a key in here. That's good. I'm going to use this key on the shop, which does not contain what I was hoping it would contain. These RV. I probably should take this, shouldn't we? Uh, a another key, which is a shame. Never mind. I think if we were going to get one item out of this, well two I suppose, we did get two. Um, having got both the 9 volt and uh, uh, infestation 2, I think I made the, the right choice. Some people may have gone to the right on that room and found something horrendous, or they may have gone to the right on that room, found something even better than infestation to. We'll never know. I'm going to have to be very careful here, because I can't see a fucking thing. Spiders, if you would like to uh, actually do something, that would be also reasonably super duper. I'm trying to uh, avoid these fucking shots, but I can't see where I am. <laughs> Really difficult to avoid shots when you don't know what you're avoiding them with. Like that game of Invisible Tetris that was a, a, a video 
viral video on the internet a while ago. Some guy who was ridiculously adept at playing the game of Tetris in which he could not see the pieces that he was placing. The only thing he knew about them was what the preview said they were going to be. So the preview would say you were going to get you know, a T piece and it would not actually be visible when it appeared on the field. Uh, I think I'm doing quite well here. Let's bring it back to the Isaac game rather than the Tetris game. I'm safe. Now where do we stand? I don't know. How about here? Maybe? We've got our uh, Fate's Reward doing the occasional bit of damage, which is probably actually not too great because we want the hush to stop. To, to, to be vulnerable again. I don't know whether there's an indication of whether the hush is in a position, like in a state where you can do good damage to it. But look at these spiders from the flies! This is why we wanted Infestation 2 for the hush fight, because goodness me, the minions that hush puts out I think we should be safe here, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna ruin him from the amount of flies it creates, uh, spiders that it creates, it's tremendous, help, help. I do not like this particular wave by any means, but again, flies, spiders, flies, spiders, hide in the corner, hide in the corner. And uh, <laughs> Rotten Baby's flies are actually aggroing it. Have you seen that? So, I think... If we could have picked up Hive Mind, I, I do slightly regret not going to as many shops as I avoided, because Hive Mind at this stage would have been just a fantastic pickup. The, the double damage on spiders and flies would have been worth its weight in gold, not that Hive Mind probably weighs much. Um, but then, you know... Gold is only worth what the gold standard says it's worth, so once that collapses as a result of the fact that everyone's been somehow doing damage to spiders and flies rather than guns and ammo, I think we're nearly there. We've only taken a couple of hits, and this is uh, astounding to me. We are there. We have done it. So there's our 5,000 points, which I didn't think was going to be worth even trying to get, but I, I guess we're going up to the cathedral now. We didn't take nearly as much damage as I was expecting to, considering I was playing as Judas, you know, not not five minutes before I started this run. Um, and should we fight the mini boss? I'm going to go with no. Um, <laughs> you got to laugh at that. And I tried to do hush, and I just got shattered. Let's open the secret room and stop hiccuping on camera. Thank you. It is bombs. Maybe these pills would be decent. We're small, we're fast, we're nimble. Uh, we're unlucky, apparently. Not a single... Oh, there's one. Do we know what it is? Look down. Well, if that isn't the icing on the cake, hey? Let's just fight our way through here. These rooms stand literally zero chance. We haven't got any keys. Uh, which is going to be a problem on the chest because we won't be able to open the chests. So if the game could see its way to rectifying this situation post haste, I'd be grateful. The number of spiders we've got though, Isaac's not going to stand a chance. There was a second secret room there actually, we should check that out. Maybe it has uh, one of those error rooms with consumables on it. Oh, another chest, eh? We did get Guppy's tail, so it's kind of understandable that... Mm, not great. Um, that we get chests that we can't do anything with. Mom's key would have been a great uh, great item to have right now. But, uh, no. I think we're going to have to make do. I do have the tower card, I'm aware. I have no immediate use for it. It doesn't really strike me as a, a valuable... Valuable asset. We'll go in here. Ah, oh, that... That visual glitch. That glitch. It'd be great, uh, to be honest, if um, Isaac had a colorblind mode. I know some games do, um, but there's only a couple of things that are really a, a bother in, a, in those terms. Um, it's the black hearts. It, it 
in fact, literally, it's a black heart um, that I have the greatest problem with. I did have some trouble with telling the syringes apart. For example, roid rates and experimental treatment look almost identical. But they have tells. So you can differentiate them once you start to recognise what's different. You know, different number of gradient gradations on the actual edge of the syringe. That sort of thing. It looks like we're not going to get any of the items in this floor, which is a shame, because we can end up with some awesome synergies as a result. But it also looks like we're not going to have a need for them, which is great, because I'd rather be already stupidly powerful and capable of beating Blue Baby. Uh, that's helpful. Than I would be relying on the chest to make us powerful before beating Blue, Bla Blue Baby. Blue Blue Blue. And, of course, Blue Blably does produce flies for us, and we've already beaten Blue Blably once on this run because he showed up just before Hush. Game over. We win. Let's not hang around. Show us the scores. 17... 1746. Not... not terrible. We came 6,000th last time. But it's still not up there. We need to get up there. You know, the only time we've been up there is on that lost run when presumably so many other people actually died a lot. I don't know what it means when you're greyed out like this. That's me there, Augustus Gluten. 9,000, you see. Compared to... Oh, we don't know. On the last run, we didn't die at all. On 17,000th, uh, we did die on. This was the decent one where we beat just Satan. Two thousand. You see, two thousand is a good place to end, whereas currently we're pressing two south. Look, it's been a long day, and I haven't really had much practice speaking English, so I'm gonna just stop.